slope of a line. Look at the girl climbing the staircase. Here the inclination or steepness of the staircase gives us the idea of the slope. Slope represents the ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change between any two points on the line. Let's compute the slope in this scenario. Let me take uh, the pen. Slope as we discussed just now, it is the measure of the vertical shift or vertical change over horizontal shift or horizontal change. Now let's look at the initial point let's say A and point B and how many units of vertical shift has taken place means 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Therefore, the girl moved up by 5 units. And the horizontal shift, how many units of horizontal shift she moved? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 units. Therefore, this 5 over 6 represents the inclination or steepness of the line. Now, if you observe the numbers here, the point P on the y axis it is 6 units, and the point C on the y axis it is 1 unit. Now, think of these numbers and is there any relation between these numbers and number 5? Of course, you can sense that 6 subtract 1 that gives us 5. 6 subtract 1. In the same way, look at number 6 in the denominator. Is there any relation between 2 which is the starting point and 8 which is the ending point? So, here also you can see that the difference of 8 and 2 is giving the denominator. It's giving the denominator. So from this uh, we can conclude that uh, the difference of uh, y values and the difference of uh, x coordinates uh, they are giving us the slope. So in brief slope equals to change in y coordinates over change in x coordinates gives us uh, the slope of the given line. The uphill of the given line gives you the positive slope whereas the horizontal line gives you no slope of the line and finally the downhill gives you the negative slope of the given line.